Wait, can you believe? Okay. <laughs> it's like, it has been a crazy morning. Okay. Okay, talk about what were the disasters? I'm sitting there looking about the stuff about Kevin Costner, the presidential library last night. <laughs> we we're doing fundraisers for the Philippines and all these different things going on. Ah, anyway. Yes, okay. What were we on? Oh, anyway, we're going to bring old Kim on right now with comments from the headlines out today. Uh, and it's all over for the Republicans. Oh, yeah, because the Democrats, the, the, this morning, they accused the reason why Obamacare has such a bad turnout is because the Republicans have battled. The Republicans have done so much to stop it. See, they want to destroy it and deny insurance for people in this nation that don't have insurance. <laughs> Even their own supporters are getting, that's getting to be a little bit, you know, they, 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 well, I said, George Stephan office, they had nothing to do with the plan. Well, that's the reason why. If they just joined with us, this would, uh, there would have been none of these problems, and they won't help us fix them. He said, why should they? He said, you did it. You guys are stuck with it. So, wow. Yeah. And Obamacare hits new lows in the polls. Even supporters hate it now. Oh, God, because that, uh, 75% of the people in the nation uh, have now realized it's not going to lower insurance costs. It never can lower insurance costs. The, the, the people, the, most of the subsidies are not actually ever going to get to anybody because here's how it works is, is that you make too much money to get a subsidy even if you're not making any money because, oh, what do they do? They include food stamps. What do they do? They include other forms of social services. Anytime you get anything, it counts against you getting a subsidy for medical care. And the people that basically, what do they also say? 69% of the people that are getting it free have said we're not getting the same, we're not getting the same medical care that we were getting before. We weren't paying for it. But see, now they're all, they're all paying a fine. They all have to pay a fee no matter what, which they weren't paying at all plus getting lack of service, and the doctors are all dropping out of the plans. Oh. So it's a disaster. And new cockroach species, oh, I, <laughs> I was going to say Obamacare hits new lows in the polls. Even supporters hate it now. I know she likes that, she's just a third time. Well, yeah, because I was thinking about the cockroaches. I know. The new cockroach species replacing the oriental roach in the southwest. Yeah, year. they say it's coming in on, uh, they're bringing it in on plants and things like, uh, like they're being, uh, the, uh, what's funny is that there's a species of spiders that's laying its eggs inside of, um, of bananas. They, a few years ago they did a movie I think arachnophobia or something where the mm -hmm. spiders were inside the tomato, inside the bananas. Oh, really? That's happening now. People all of a sudden are seeing bananas explode with the very deadly spiders coming out of them. Well, well, that's why they don't. They check you for fruits and vegetables going from. Ah, but you can't tell if it's if they've laid the eggs inside. Oh. The oh, banana. you know what? You just made me think because there's the. Fruits and vegetables are tagged what country they come in from. Yeah, so you're going to stop a lot of these countries where they have large spider populations. Okay, what's going to happen is Obama doesn't approve of fumigating the plants. They're going to have to start fumigating those things to keep the bugs out of them or they're not going to be able to sell them anymore anymore. I mean, third world countries are not going to buy a banana that can blow open full of spiders that can kill everybody in the house. Mm -hmm. And White House advisor consults with Israeli officials on the Iran deal. You know what Herbie Daddy said? What? Herbie Daddy happened to be a Jewish warthog. He said, <laughs> yeah. He said, like, hell would freeze over before they would talk to their people. Oh. So you know they never consulted with any Israeli about the, about the Iranian thing because they wouldn't have approved it if they had to. But this oh. is the person that basically lied to everybody about Benghazi also. And UN begins distributing fuel to counter Gaza crisis. Yeah, they're basically, well, you know, the Jewish, you know, they're causing a problem there. No, Obama is causing the problem. Obama basically has promised the Palestinians Israel, and they aren't going to get it, folks, because you're looking at a war that's coming. It, it's, it's inevitable coming. because Obama, uh, I'm, Herbie Daddy says, I will, he will bet you the bank that Obama will notify the Iranians if he knows the Israelis are heading towards their, um, their nuclear reactors mm -hmm. because he doesn't like the Jews. Uh, Kerry doesn't like them. I mean, Kerry is, a, you know, it, 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 it's just the way it is. Kerry is an upper echelon 
New England snob. Mm. And Turkey Sultan seemed losing his swing ahead of elections. Well, yeah, because they're getting, okay, the Ataturk basically was created the modern Turkish country, had the had a constitution so designed that the clerics could not take control of the country. What's happening is the clerics have now, uh, for the constitution be damned, they're running the country now, and the people are turning against the clerics, and this Sultan happened to be one of the clerics, folks. Mm -hmm. And White House, oh, wait, 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 um, George P. takes baby steps away from the Bush name. What? That's the younger Bush. George P. Uh huh. Okay. They're, they're, they're basically they're they're gonna they're basically he's gonna call himself by the name that they generally give him, which is I think Paul Bush. Which basically, mm -hmm. instead of being George P. Bush, he's gonna be Paul Bush. Which is okay. His fam his friends call him Polly, mm -hmm. and they also call him by his Spanish name because his mother happened to be very Spanish and Latino. So. And 15,000 Obamacare signups didn't transmit improvement seen in the U.S. Okay, Kirby Daddy said there's a bit of a problem with their math. Do you already know that 25 to 40 percent of the people that signed up were not getting, did not get, uh, were not actually signed up? So if you believe the low figure, they're saying, well, only 15,000 didn't get signed up. Well, 15,000, 25 to 40 percent is not. 25 to 40 percent of 390,000 people, folks. And Syrian helicopters drop barrel bombs on the rebel town. Yeah, that's how you win a war. What's I, okay? I hear you know. Herbie Daddy says something. Um, Herbie Daddy says the, what the Obama administration and right-wing Republicans and left-wing Democrats don't understand. Dictators are not nice people. Mm -hmm. They kill people to stay in power. And glass exit portal security to leave the airport. Oh yeah, now you're going to have to. They got a wall, the the the, the okay, to protect the the, uh, the union people. They're going to put all of the people entering and leaving the the things inside of a glass partition now. Back, you know, can you imagine just walking through glass walls so that uh, you could don't they'll be and then you know, when you get scanned, you're going to get scanned. By them sticking their hands through, a, like a, you know, like you were in a quarantine area. And Pope Francis says he is no Marxist. Yeah, he's absolutely a Marxist. Sir. He was a he was a, he's a Jesuit priest. He's a Marxist. They all are. <laughs> so the reason why he's got the job is because he's because a Marxist. He is. <laughs> he's a transitionary. He's a transitionary priest that basically used to work as a, as a bouncer. So why is he saying he's not a Marxist? Because oh, it's like Obama saying he's not Muslim? I know. Oh, well. Mm -hmm. U.S. environment chief to share air pollution lessons with China. Air pollution lessons? Yeah, they basically pollute everywhere. It says right there, uh, they, they, uh, they said the, the guy said, they said the Obama administration officials could not tell the truth on their deathbed because that 15,000 is actually 50,000 and growing. That haven't what? been signed up. It is what? fifty thousand and growing. So um, isn't that something? Fifty thousand, not fifteen, but fifty thousand and growing. And there was not three hundred sixty-five thousand signed up in the last two months. It is more like a hundred and ninety-five thousand in the last two months. Who learned how to count? It's the Obama administration. Okay, these are academics, and basically they're used to using calculators to get to count to two. Mm -hmm. And teacher discipline for Santa is white remark. I'm going to try to explain something to people. Saint Nicholas was a Greek Orthodox saint. They did not have blacks in the Greek Orthodox Church. You would really look hard to find a black Orthodox priest today. And second, you know, we're going to try that, uh, you know, with the other thing, that Jesus was white. Yeah. He was a Jewish rabbi. They did not yeah. have black Jewish rabbis <laughs> in the in the you know so so but there how dare you say that Santa Claus was white? Because it's history, folks. Mm -hmm. You cannot change you can have all of them. Nobody cares about black Santa Claus. They don't care about black Barbie dolls. They don't care about Hispanic Santa Clauses. They don't care about they got Jewish Santa Clauses, for Christ's sake. I mean I I guess they got gay Santa Clauses. Nobody cares. But when you say, well, everyone knows that Santa Claus was an Afro-American, 
really. Yeah. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Well, Herbie Daddy says simply that if you don't like the job you're doing, then don't do it. <laughs>